Hello there, here's a quick uh, test on the HD126 uh, video LED lights as already shown um, on a previous video. Now I'm going to run through some sample shots that I've taken with my camera. These are stills. Um, what I've done is I've set my Canon 600D and the 2470 uh, Sigma lens. I've set the camera at 100 ISO and I've set the colour balance to daylight and uh, I've basically taken a room shot just using the ambient that's coming in the room now this is coming through some diffused white curtains um, it's hitting against the, the door which you see in the background which is an off-white colour and you'll see the piece of white paper I've exposed this to the centre zero point on the camera so this is a neutral grey point this uh, basically is a baseline where I will uh, shoot this piece and I will shoot the next shot at that setting. After that, once I start introducing gels and the gel plastics, um, I will not change the camera and you'll see how it affects the brightness and the intensity from then forward. Okay, so that's uh, an introduction to the test and you've seen this shot. So this is the um, room ambient camera on fixed daylight setting that gives us a baseline we'll move on to the next shot this is the LED light at full power aiming pretty much at that sheet of paper from two meters away the LED will be, remain at two meters distance so this is LED at full power with no gels no sheets quite a similar uh, color balance on this one so this is the basic color balance on the LED it appears to be pretty much a daylight balance the white is pretty good here showing that the LEDs are pretty close to full daylight color okay so moving on to the next shot we've got the diffuser on the LED so there's no change from before no change in exposure settings on the camera everything will remain fixed from here forward so this is the diffuser on the LED, the HD126 it uh, shows a slight exposure drop other than that very very little change as we would expect from a basic white diffuser Okay, in this shot we've put the pink filter in. That's the minus green filter that's supplied with the unit that's uh, designed to help uh, fluorescence look less green. Again, I've not changed the balance or anything, so we're showing the slight pinkness being introduced now. Um, it uh, appears to be tinting to a reasonable extent. Um, I'll do some further tests under fluorescent um, but unfortunately at the moment I don't have any fluorescence in here to test the colour against. Um, again, the exposure is slightly down on the clear, obviously as we would expect. But um, it's showing that it's a fairly subtle difference, but it most definitely has changed it slightly to the pink end. And uh, introduced that minus green. Okay, so here's the LED light with the full CTO gel filter that comes with it um, I'm not overly impressed by this gel filter it's showing uh, far too much green tint um, that's visible to the eye and it also appears to be visible on the camera as well um, exposure is down by approximately one stop as we would expect but um, this uh, gel doesn't appear to be very good at all um, I'll do some comparison shots next and I'll end up with a full side by side of these ones as I'm really not overly happy with this particular filter but you can see it's it's definitely gone orange-ish but uh, I believe that there's far too much green involved in this gel this is the plastic gel that came with the actual uh, light itself Okay, here we go. In comparison to the last shot, this is a piece of 205 uh, gel. This is a proper, legitimate, industry standard 205 half CTO gel in front of the LED. Um, 
Obviously, it's a little bit brighter than the full CTO plastic that we saw a moment ago, but um, it's distinctly less green. Although I believe there's still a little bit of greenness coming through from the LEDs, it is a much better colour and uh, certainly proving to be a truer CTO colour. But as I say, this is a half gel. This is a CTO half gel from Lee. Okay, and uh, by way of comparison, here's two sheets of that 205 half CTO gel. So this is now a full CTO. Now this would be an industry standard colour to put in front of a daylight lamp to uh, turn it to tungsten colour, i.e. a full CTO tint. Um, possibly slightly too much green still showing through from the LEDs there, but... Um, it's uh, overall it looks like a pretty good coloration on this one um, I'm generally happy with the true CTOs um, the CTO plastic filter does appear to be a bit a bit wrong and uh, we'll maybe cut back to that one and show the comparison here so let's see what they look like side by side okay so here's a side by side showing the three separate filters this is a plastic CTO at the top left hand side that's the filter that comes with the actual uh, light itself. To the right hand side you'll see a full CTO which is comprised of two 205 half CTO sheets by Lee. And down the bottom left you'll see there's the single 205 CTO gel. So you'll see the difference in uh, colour between them. Um, if we consider that the gel 205s are correct and accurate you can see the difference between a half gel and a full gel on the right hand side. Compare that to the gel that's meant to be CTO as supplied by the the lighting company. Um, the gel that's provided has definitely got too much green tint in it. Um, it's not true at all. Um, not overly impressed by that gel. I don't imagine I will be using that except in uh, extreme circumstances where I have nothing else. And I would recommend if we do that, you're going to need to tint the green out, um, either in post or by presetting the values um, in the camera when shooting. Okay, so as a final comparison, I've tested uh, by setting the camera on tungsten setting and then shooting the paper with the LED illuminated only. Now, with no gel on the LEDs, obviously the light comes up very blue, showing that it's tinted quite close to daylight. It's definitely um, a good representation of blue going on there, showing the LEDs are almost certainly daylight balanced. Moving on, by way of comparison, here's the camera set to tungsten and the plastic CTO gel on top which should render the paper as white um, it's far from white here um, it's very very green stroke yellow it's difficult to describe but it's very very much towards a green which shows that the tungsten filter that they provide with the unit is not at all good as already proven in the previous tests And moving on to the final test which I've done, this is the uh, camera set to tungsten, two of the 205 half CTO gels. So these are Lee gels which are meant to be CTO, um, obviously they should be accurate as they're Lee gels. And um, I think the white rendering here is very good, it's still got a slight green tint showing that uh, the LEDs themselves are emitting a slightly green uh, edge which is not unusual for LEDs used in this type of uh, environment. Is this acceptable close to white? It's pretty good. Um, I think it's as good as you generally need for shooting. Um, so that would suggest that the LEDs are pretty close to full daylight balance. Putting, uh, using uh, these LEDs indoors under tungsten light using a proper 
CTO gel would be a pretty good balance, certainly close enough for general shooting. If you want to get it extremely accurate, you may want to put a little bit of green cut on and see how that compares. But that is pretty good as far as uh, CTO balance goes.